Today we're going to start next part in SAP MM training which is reservations. So the topics that we're going to start today they are explain the structure of a reservation and information it contains, manual and automatic reservations, creating and changing data in a reservation, enter a goods movement with reference to a reservation, evaluation of reservations, reservation management, picking list for reservations. So we'll start with the repeaters example of why we need reservation in a business. To guarantee material availability, the required material with the intended purpose the required quantity and the requirement date are reserved. That means if we want to reserve a particular material for a particular purpose and a specific quantity and for a specific date then we'll do it via reservation. Now before we go further let me explain you uh, in what circumstances we'll be creating a reservation. So suppose in my company, just say, we'll take an example of uh, raw material. So just say we have a raw material in my company. And raw material is say, code is R123 for example. Now as of today, we have say 100 pieces of stock. Now a new production order has been created and the production will start for that production uh, order tomorrow say. And this raw material will be used in the production of that particular product. So that means this raw material will be using in the production order to make a final product. So that means say if I need to create a out of this I'll, I'll, I need say for a production order number 1234 I need 50 pieces okay which will be starting tomorrow so what we can do is if we reserve 50 pieces of this raw material for this particular production order that means though that 50 reserve piece will cannot be consumed by other production order or other requirements that means I have booked 50 pieces here on production order number this and say later on I received another production order or another production order has been created or another requirement has been created the 2345 is the number and now we need say 80 pieces here. Now because we already reserved 50 pieces out of 100 here that means system cannot pick 80 pieces out of this 100 pieces. So system knows that 50 pieces are already reserved out of this for this production order. So, but this one requires 80 pieces. That means 30 extra pieces we require. We still got 50 left after this 50. So in that case, system will create, generate a new requirement for purchasing of the raw material. A new purchase order and all the process will start again. But the point that I want to mention here is that at uh, all the time the reservation that has been created will be reserved for that production order only and cannot be consumed by other require other requirements that is one example other example can be for example for finished product so i can say maybe i have abc, ABC one two three finished product so same scenario but for a sales order because finished product we sell Okay, and we create a sales order. So if I have a sales order number say 456 and here as of today say again we have 100 pieces. I received a sales order and for say 60 pieces. And then later on a new sales order has been created again. Sales order number say 567. And this one is for requirement say 50 pieces because out of 100 
we already consumed 60 here so 60 is already reserved here so this one will say okay I already reserved 60 so what I got left is 40 pieces so 40 species can be given to this sales order if that is sufficient but because we need 50 pieces here so 40 is not sufficient so what will happen system will generate a new requirement for this finished product and system will do the MRP run and all the process will start again for the procurement so the point here is reservation will always reserve a particular material for a particular purpose so the purpose can be for a specific movement type for a specific production order for a specific sales order could be something else so let's see some theory first and then we'll start some practicals reservations so reservation as you can see in the picture so um, reservations are request to the warehouse to have materials ready for issue at a later date and for a particular purpose a reservation can be used to plan an inward movement in advance that means you can create a reservation for a particular movement type in advance that I'm going to show you in practically in a minute a reservation ensures that a material is available when it is needed okay so it will make sure that the product is there when, I, when on the date that, that we need that we need <clears throat> so in the system basically we have two types of uh, reservation okay number one is manual that I'm going to show you here other one is automatic what automatic is automatic is happening behind the screen automatically okay that means um, the scenario that I've shown you here okay this is a scenario for automatic reservation that means if you have this finished product you received a sales order system will automatically reserve 60 quantity behind the screen so we do not need to do anything manually everything will happen automatically behind the screen that is automatic okay same thing for production order but there's another thing called manual if you want then you can also create a reference manually so this is that this is what we're going to learn in this class today that how we can reserve it manually okay for automatic we do not do, need to do anything it's happening behind the screen but for manually we can do the manual reservation structure of a reservation now let me create a reservation so to create the reservation transaction code is MB21 MB21 to create MB22 to change and MB23 to display so or you can use a menu path here uh, logistics material management inventory reservation mb21 click that so here you need to enter the base date okay that is if I press F1 here so specifies the date for which the goods movement is planned so on what date you require the material for example I can say one week from today's date so just add one week from today's date and this checkbox is for system can check that whether this date is a working day or a holiday or a weekend okay so that is controlled by the factory calendar that's a different topic and here you can select the movement type for what movement type you want to create for, for what movement type you want to reserve for example here I'm using a movement type say uh, 311 okay transfer posting storage location one step so we did use 311 st uh, movement type study in the last lecture so you might know what is 311 and enter the plant here for which you want to get the reservation and here you can also enter a reference item what reference item is it just if you want to copy an existing reservation is the same thing like let me open one more session like when we used to create material master and I mentioned earlier that you can copy the material from a another material so that will make your work easier okay same thing for material master you can copy 
a vendor master you can copy. So same thing here, a reserve.